Hey everyone, today I'm working on an O2 BMW 325. I'm going to show you how to remove and replace your driver's side door window regulator. So it's not too hard to do. You want to take out these little covers that's on the, uh, the door panel and then pop this little trim piece off right here. These right here, um, you can pop off with a screwdriver. Sometimes you can get them with your finger. So once you get those two little trim pieces off, there's uh, some T20 torque bits that's up in there. You want to uh, unscrew those. Then you can go up to this little trim panel, pull it from the back side right here. Just be careful that you don't break the, uh, the piece. You might have to give a panel panel plier to, uh, to pull on it. Depends on how long it's been since they've been taken off. You'll see right here, it's got these little studs in here that pop in there, so you take that out. If you start from this side, you'll probably break these little tabs off that's on the end. So once you got those out, um, you got a couple more T20 bolts. One's right here. This is the long one, right behind the door handle. See how long that one is, and then this one's a short one. Set those off to the side. You need to use a small flat tip screwdriver and pull this driver's side switch up, and you'll see one more screw right back in there. We'll take that out. you get that loose, if you can't get the screw out, you might want to use a magnetic retriever to get the screw out or just remember that's in there. Sometimes whenever they slip out, they go down in the holes down here and you can end up losing them. Then you'll want to get a pair of plant panel pliers like this and just go underneath the door and just squeeze. See, screws come out. A lot of times these push clips back here do break because they're brittle. There's really nothing that you can do about it. They're going to break or they're not. And then the top side up here above the handle has uh, some little clips that run across the top side of it. Um, you want to pull, pull outward on the panel slightly and it'll start popping all those little clips off. You can see the clips right here how they're in there. So once you pull that out, then you can go ahead and start taking your electrical off on the back side. Just pull out on your uh, release handle cable like that, and it comes right out. And then uh, get some of this other stuff off. Take the uh, door switch off and run that wire through there. Pull the tab off from that, and you got the uh, door panel off now. So now you have to uh, remove the airbag on the driver's side. It's best if you uh, disconnect the battery, make sure you don't have any power going to it. And if you don't already know, the battery's on the rear right side, and you'll just take a wrench and disconnect the negative cable from over there. So now that the battery's disconnected, take your 10 millimeter and go ahead and take the sockets or take the screws out to get the uh, airbag out. So once you get the airbag off and you see the wire going here, just take your little flat head and go right underneath there and pop the little tab up. Once you pop the tab up, then you should be able to pop the wire off and disconnect the airbag itself. Disconnect the module here bolted to the front side of the door. Now go ahead and start removing the uh, vapor barrier that's um, mounted to the door with the uh, little rubber looking stuff, sticky stuff. So whenever you get to this point, you got the uh, vapor barrier off. If your window's down, then you can get to the bolts uh, to unbolt it. But if your window's stuck in the up position because uh, everything's wound up in here and it's totally shot to it won't go down, then you'll have to remove the motor. And we're going to remove a few bolts on here and remove the motor out of its place to allow the window to, to roll down. I'm going to 
go ahead and disconnect the electrical on it. So on the original one, I'm using a, uh, a T27. Seems to work, it might be a T30. But So I've got the screws out and I'm gonna rotate it just a little bit and pop that out. You can see right there where the drive center is. Okay, so I twisted that just a little bit, got it to unwound, it's kinda tight, but then we uh, pushed on the window right here. And you can see right there how it twists on its own whenever you're shoving on the window down. Here you'll be able to see the bolt and through that little gap right there that you have to undo in order to get the window out. And you have the same thing over here on this side. Right there, you can see the little bolt that you have to take out. If you have a buddy, go ahead and call him over. It's a little bit easier to, uh, you know, to do the whole thing. So whenever you get your socket, have your buddy hold up the window and go ahead and take that bolt out. They are kind of stiff, they're kind of in there tight. So once you start getting it to move, go over here to this one this one out so once you get those two bolts off hanging onto the window slide the window back up into the frame and then start unmounting the uh, the rails you got uh, one on the bottom left upper left uh, top right and bottom right and you'll have to also have a nut right here that you got to take the bolts off on Then you can start rotating the whole center assembly counterclockwise get it down. Probably a little tab right here that you gotta squeeze, get it off, get one of the lines. And once you uh, get that off, we'll be able to bring the assembly out, lift it up and out. So when you're replacing your clips, if it comes with a new regulator, just pull the old clip out, put the new clip in, and then slide the little nut that was inside of it from the back side and just push it up the back until it bottoms out and that way you, it'll retain the, uh, retaining that for you. Once you get the new clips and the retaining nuts back in, then you'll be ready to go ahead and start sliding in your window regulator and just put the new one in reverse of the old one. So once you have the regulator back in the position then you can use the retaining nuts and go ahead and fasten it down and tighten those up. So in order to uh, mount the, the window, you're gonna have to roll up the window regulator, which means you're gonna have to put all the power back on and connecting the uh, airbag and all the sensors all up so you don't trip any engine lights or anything like that. And then uh, you'll use the switch to go ahead and uh, roll the window up um, or the window regulator up to where you can access the, uh, the point where you need to put the bolt in at. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so now that we got the uh, mount in the right place to be able to put the bolt in, slide the window down a little bit at a time until it goes down and gets close to where you see it lining up right here. Push it in, let's, see, let's see if this side's lined up. Push it down just a little bit. You see, now it's kind of stopped. You can see how it's the mounting clip is lined up with the bracket and you can see the hole where you're going to put the bolt in at. So here's your quick tip. If you're trying to get this bolt in there and you can't get it because it's too short, it won't stay on your socket and you can't get your fingers up in there, then take some of this black sticky stuff off the door right here that uh, the vapor barrier sticks to and just stick it to the inside of your socket right there and then put the uh, bolt on top of it and it'll stick pretty good and it won't fall off. If I can get in the camera, it won't fall off right there, but get it right up in there and you'll be able to mount the, uh, the window and get it tightened up. So once you get that tightened up and in there, then you're pretty much ready to get the vapor barrier back on here. And uh, you might want to turn the power on and check 
to make sure that the window rolls up and down and that you have it centered in the frame before you uh, reattach everything, put everything back together. Now you can go ahead and re-zip tie the uh, cable coming off the regulator to that hole that's where it was originally on the car. The kit for the window regulator did not come with a zip tie, but they're not that expensive to go by. Another quick tip is, is that there's a stud on the motor right here and you'll forget about it and you'll put it back on and it won't be setting flush. So make sure that you get the little, uh, the little protection cap off from the stud that sits right here so that can go through and you can tighten it up so that this assembly right here sets flush. So now it's time to start putting the uh, vapor barrier back on the door. Okay, so now that you got the vapor barrier back on, then go ahead and reconnect your airbag. Make sure that your uh, power is off and everything whenever you do it. And then uh, go ahead and mount it back up there into position. Now that the airbag's back on, we're ready to go ahead and start placing the door panel back on. So after you get the speakers and wiring harness connected, make sure that you run your uh, switch wire through the hole right there. So as you're putting your door panel back up, right here where you've got your door release just slide that right back in there and just push it back in and you'll see the little clips on the door right here it'll line up with the clips on the door panel side right there they simply just push on so once you get them aligned you want the window open so that you can get everything aligned and get the top back on along with your lock knob back there into the, the hole and just uh, slowly push that back on once it gets back on and uh, you can push the whole panel back together. Now that you have your door panel back on just start reattaching all your bolts don't forget about the one that's back behind the switch back there and then the long uh, screw goes into the front side right behind the handle the short one goes on the back and then your two lower ones on the uh, pull handle. Now that you have the screws back into place go ahead and reconnect your switch right here and Push it back into position. Then you'll take your little trim piece, start on the front side, right behind the handle. Go in there at an angle, and then make sure that you have the little tabs lined up with it on the back side. And then just start popping them back in, pushing them in with your hand. Now that you've got that back on, go ahead and check the window one last time. Make sure everything's working on it. And you can see that it's going up and down. And you've completed the uh, replacement of your driver's side door window regulator. So hopefully the video helped you all out today. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Like it, share it. Let me know what you think uh, in the comments below. Stay tuned for the next video. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching again.